All right. So I guess I guess my question is both my daughters, uh, Mia and uh, Valerie, are both really talented when it comes to certain certain things like music and Valerie a little more in dancing and stuff. And and they want to get into YouTube and they want to do that kind of stuff. My wife's not as supportive as I am. Um, And the question that I have is, how do you how do you get them out there doing their stuff on YouTube, on social media and all of the things like that without putting the, I just say the dangers and the, the difficulties of yeah. letting them manage their own YouTube yeah. in that nature. Yeah. Yep. I mean, we, ahead, both, we both, uh, we both have, we both have yes. kids, you yeah. know, I mean, this is Faye talking. I have a nine year old daughter and I'm actually torn with kind of the exact question right now, but I think it's all about the expectations that you lay down as a parent for how they need to love and treat themselves. And I think there's a real big piece of that. There's a real big learning in that. And to have the knowledge base to say, no, that doesn't feel right. No, I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't respond to that. That's the best we can do because the last thing I want to do is stifle creativity for my daughter. And she's a, I mean, a wild animal when it comes to, I mean, she's a hip hop dancer in Los Angeles. Nine going on 20. Yeah, but I respect her creative outlet. And, and face 42 going on 4.2. Yes, yeah, they exactly, got exactly so right. So you're a good team. <laughs> Perfect team. Are you, why are you starting in with him? Now? I like him already, right? I like him already. Thanks, Derek. Uh, uh, Martin, I also think, look, a couple things. Um, the thing that really stands out to me, in my opinion, is full access. If somebody, that you know, as a child wants to play and be creative and the parents want to let that happen. For me, one of the real, I, I think Faye nailed it. Self-esteem, Martin, self-esteem, which clearly you're trying to nurture, so I give you huge kudos. Like, I'm thrilled to get on the phone with your wife on a separate time of what the power of no is and what that does for self-esteem. It Parents think they're doing the right thing and they're getting caught into a trap. You're doing an incredible thing on trying to build self-esteem. Faye drilled it. When one feels good about themselves, all those scary things are far less scary. I think the other thing that makes it far less scary, and to me this is a, an, a non-debatable thing with kids under 16 probably for that matter, is we have access. Like, I yep. have your passwords, I have access, yep. I, you're on my server, I know what your passwords are, yep. anytime I try to sign into your Instagram or YouTube messages and I can't get in, you're fucking finished. Not only am I deleting the, the, the app, I'm breaking your phone and you're gonna be thrown into a jail for the rest of your yeah. life. Like, like, like no I, I think there's no problem having hard line stance like that. So to me it's like, honey, Little guy, these are you know you need to feel good about yourself. You know, listen, forget about the things that every listen. Every parent goes to the darkest place because they love their kids so much. It goes immediately into sexual assault. Like, do you remember all? No, don't let your kids on MySpace because everyone's gonna get raped at the mall. Like, you know, people go to the darkest place. It's the way terrorism works. They don't look at the math. The far scarier thing for people about their kid going on Instagram or YouTube is not this sexual predator, which you always have to pay attention to, but the math plays out a certain way. It's the fact that they may get their self-esteem wrapped up into subscribers, likes, and and have their issues with negative comments. To me, the thing that scares me way more is that your daughter may think she's not good because she only has 87 subscribers, or she may stop being as creative because somebody said she was ugly. That's super scary, which is why I triple down on phase thing. It's not about access, which is to me a no-brainer. That's like, like that's the rule. It's getting their minds right that if somebody does something negative, that means they're broken, not you. This is the great propaganda that I hope to achieve over the next 30 years of my life is that if somebody is in a bad place, somebody is trying to bring you down, tear you down, took the time to tear you down, think about how bad they have it. A hundred percent. They're in a bad place. Martin, I think that's the psychological game. Great. Well, I appreciate it. Could you do me one favor and talk to her about how important it is to actually continue to make content? Because I've talked to her about that. She she wants instant gratification, I think. And yeah, I give think, it to so me. She's right Put here. her on a phone. What's her name? You could... oh, hi. 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 What's your name? Mia. Mia. So talk to me, Mia. You like, how old are you? I'm 10. So Mia, you like every other 10 year old, you just want the subscribers and likes to explode overnight, right? That makes sense, right Mia? Yes. Right, here's the problem Mia. That's not what's gonna happen. For 99.999% of people, 
it's gonna take years and years. For example, Mia, it's highly likely that you have to put out a ton of content at the detriment of your homework for the next 10 years before anything really starts happening. You'll literally be 20 before anything good happens. What do you think about that, Mia? That's great. That's the answer. Mia, you have to fall in love with the process. Like if you just love making it, because you love making the content, I promise you, darling, you have a far better chance of breaking through. The people that lose, your classmates that are not gonna make it, are the ones who want 10,000 followers tomorrow or, a, or have a song or video go viral. Mia, it doesn't work like that for 99.99999. You know how many years Justin Bieber was making content? Like my own story, Mia, it's different content, but I was making content for eight, nine years before it really started getting going. So yes, somebody may get lucky and make a viral video in their first two years, three years, but if you're mature enough and love it enough to hear that it's gonna take as many years to get there as you've been on earth, then you're on your way. Here's my problem. I'm scared that you're just yesing me to death and that's not what's really in your head. Like I wanna make sure that you realize that the patience and the process is the actual game, not all the admiration or the fame or the, Mia, the number one thing I'm scared of is that you give a shit about how many followers you have on Instagram or YouTube. The second you start caring and thinking that number is everything is the second, Mia, you're gonna start losing. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I wanted to ask if I could sing a song for you. Sure. 